Hi viewers, Mesba here, and today I want to talk about set 75955, but this is not going to be the review or the top 5 features. I already have a video about the top 5 things I like about this set, so this video is actually going to be some ideas for mock for modifications to this set that I plan on doing. Um, in the other video that I linked to in the description, I talked about the five things I loved about this set, but I also talked about three things I didn't like about the set. So my mocks will take care of those three things, but will also add a lot of features to this train station. Now I don't have the space to make a Lego city right now, but that doesn't mean I cannot get started. All great ideas start from an, you know, a, just a dream. And I dream of having a huge Lego city. So having, you know, thought of that for some time, I decided every Lego train, every Lego city needs a train station. So this is going to be my main train station. And obviously this cannot just be as it is and it needs some mocks. So before I do that, let me show you my plan, my grand plans for my city. So the train station is going to be there at one end of the city. And where you see the arrow, this, this is going to be the entrance from the city. So in my, in this model, the entrance will be from there. So people will come in from here and the fence will be on this side. This will be the edge of the world, so as to speak. So I'm going to have the, I'm going to just have two lines. So there will be two platforms. The red will be the Hogwarts line. So as you can see in my city, oops, that's falling over. There will be a Hog, Hogwarts. So all these castles that I'm building, so the, this is the clock tower. I'll also have all the other uh, Hogwarts modulars. So they will be around in this corner. So this train will come like that, cross the river, and this will be the big stone bridge you see in the movies. Now in the movies, the stone bridge is over a valley. In my city, it will be across a river. How I'm going to do that, I don't know yet. It will stop at Hogsmeade, which is the station for Hogwarts. Continue, make a big outer loop and come back. Now, my Hogwarts Express is going to be the outer loop and the inner loop will be across my city block. So these are the three city blocks I plan on having. So this inner line will go somehow crisscross and come back. I don't have the exact layout planned, but that is uh, the general idea. The entrance, as you can see, is from here. So I'm going to have to build a facade along here, and I'm going to have to have the fence along here. So having said that, let's get to some of the mock ideas. So the first problem I said with this set is that there are no tracks. This is four straight tracks just joined together. I felt that Lego should have included this. So let me put my train on the tracks. Uh, let's see if I can do that without stopping the video. Let's see how good I am in this. You know, this sounded better in my head. But let's see, I got the locomotive. I got the tender. Let's see if I can get the wagon. Yep, got it. So this can go right across. That does look good. So this is the first thing that will happen in my modification. Of course, the track will not just be here. It will be across the whole city. And this whole thing will be on a base plate. Now I'm thinking it will be a 32 by 32, so a base plate like that. So as you can see, it should cover the first 
tracks along here. I'm thinking eight studs wide, the second track here. So that is sort of where I'm going with the layout. Well, this does look nice. Now let's see, you know, like once this is there, what's the big thing that you notice? There's no platform here. So there has to be a platform here. But before we go to the station modifications, let me talk about the, remember I was talking about the three weaknesses. So the first thing was no tracks. The second point was motorization. So I will have to motorize this. That will probably go in the tender. So I, I'm going to be using the power up function. And I'll have to change the wheels and I'll have to put it in here. So I'm going to make a separate video on how I'm going to motorize this. And the third thing I said was how weak this structure is. So if you lift it up from here, it's going to break apart easily. So my modification will have to take that into account. So let's get into some of the ways I'm envisioning the city. So having said that, here's a small layout of what I want the city, what I want the train station to look like. Now, if you were in here, you got to sort of picture it like this. So the entrance is from here. These are, you know, the platform nine and three quarters. So this is the wall that you break into. So that would be this wall right here. So again, as I said, you enter from here. So let's just for the moment show you what it is. This is the main city you enter. Now this will be, I'm thinking it will be four or maybe six studs wide. There will be shops here, there will be a place you can get your tickets and so, so on. And then you have this wall, which is this one. Then you have the first track, which is this track we just put in. Then you have this platform, so that will be here, and then you have a second track. So let's put the second track. So that's your two trains, and then you don't have any more platform, you have the fence, because that, remember, that's the edge of the world. So this is our station right now, so obviously a lot of things have to change. The first thing is that I'm going to put some platforms. So this is a mock-up of some of the platforms I built. So this is for the Lego City, the 60197, I believe, the commuter train. So that platform was only this, this small. So you build it up. And now this is just a mock-up. It's not the final fact. So this... You know, it will be like that. So this is for the Hogwarts, the magical train. This is for the city, the uh, passenger train. So let's put my city train here. So this will be your station. So what you do is that you walk in from there. And if you're not going to Hogwarts, you're going to cross over and then be on this platform for the for the commuter train. Now I moved the angle slightly so you have a better idea of what we are what we need here. So as you can see this train is the locomotive itself is quite big. Now I have two of these trains so it's quite long. Now I don't expect everything like the platform to be that long otherwise I won't have much of a city. Um, I do expect it to be long enough so that at least two wagons or two carriages uh, people can come out because remember for this train there's two when you double up this train there's two dining stations and then there's two uh, seating passenger stations so for this train I'll need at least this much long if not more and similarly this one so there's no line up here so if I move it slightly you can see that this is ending so, the first thing that we need to do, let me write it up here. First thing is length. So, the length of the platform has to be 
longer. Second thing is that we have to do tracks and they have to be on a base plate. That leads us to a third point. When you do tracks you, on a base plate, you have to ballast them. And once you ballast, already the height goes up. Now, take a look at the clearance here. It's not a lot, but this one can go through. Um, let's do one thing. Let's see just the locomotive alone. Because I'm going to obviously have to pull this forward. Uh, actually, let's do that right now. So I'm going to get rid of this platform. And I'm going to move this in front. So rather than the train moving back, which it cannot because it's going to hit that uh, my clock tower, I'm going to move this forward. So the Hogwarts Express just passes through. Let's move the camera a bit back. Just. Actually, let's zoom in to see how close it is. Wow, that's just clearing it. Now let, let's put this one here and see what happens. All right, we are back. Now let me raise, what is this called, the pentagraph? Now I am not a train expert, so don't, uh, don't hold me to account. I don't know these terms. All I know is that this is how it gets the power. So if, oh, this is going to hit. It's a simple fact. Let's see how much. Oops. Let me zoom in to show you. Let's go up and zoom in. There. Absolutely zero clearance. So how high, now remember how flimsy this is. It has to be at least four studs. So this is three studs. Don't mind my finger. Those were markers when I was drawing those city layouts. So if, let's see. So I, you would you think you'd need minimum this much clearance. So if I raise it by three, all right. Now here's the fun part. Let's zoom out. Now if, now I have zoomed out, the thing is, this one is a small, you can say this is a small difference of height. But what if I bring in my latest train, the crocodile locomotive? Now this is a beast. Let's let's move around slightly. Wow. Now I'm going to move this here, this one out. And then let's see what happens. And we are back with the crocodile locomotive on the tracks. Now you can see that this is going to straight away hit. You know, in fact, let me move this forward. So what I'm going to do, there. This should give you, a, and maybe I should move it to the side. I'm going to do that, I'm going to move it on a sideway view so we have a better idea so here we are you can see that there is no way we're gonna have a massive accident if we do this um, even if we squish this down there's really no way this is going to pass now the width of it doesn't look that bad even though the now let me remove this actually this is a good test to see if it will pass through. Yeah. So no problem at all. So it's the pentagraphs that cause the issue. How big are these? Now, if we make the requirement that when you're at the station, this should be lowered. Even then, you're looking at 
a double of that, so seven. So the third big point from all of this is that we need height. So if we don't have height here, so we already have length, the tracks, the base plate, and number three, height. All right, what else? So the next thing that I noticed is that there's a bit of a jump. Now I cannot do anything about this gap. Uh, as they say, mind the gap. We can't do anything. This will be, I think, in my train, train station, eight studs long. Because that will give the crocodile locomotive enough space. We said we are going to increase that height. So there's going to be a gap between the platform and the station. But there's also a significant difference in this height. So if you're a minifigure, let's take Professor Lupin here. Oops. Sorry, Professor. So you're standing here. Let's say the train is here. You are at the level of the wheels. So let me let me take you down to the platform level to see exactly what it, that is. So as we can see, you are quite down there. Like you can see the guts of the locomotive. You should be at least at this level. Um, let's see how that looks like with the Hogwarts Express. So I have the trolley witch here and the Hogwarts Express, the wagon. So you can see that she is her neck is where the floor of the wagon is. So that's quite the way down. Now, if I remove her, and I'm going to try and do this one handed while the other hand holds. So what I did was I put her like that. So I'm simulating the increased height now you can see that this makes sense she's looking into the so what is and you can see that the base of the wagon let me move here lines up exactly with the platform so i'm going to have to raise the height of the platform by around three stud lengths so what we have so far is that we have to increase the length, so that's the length of the platform. We have to put tracks on a base plate with the ballasting. We have to raise the height of the bridge, which is this one, and the height of the platform by around three studs. So those are the basic modifications to the Hogwarts station. What about the train? So as I said, I'm going to have a separate video on how to motorize the train and what I'm going to do is since I have two of these I'm going to take the motor and wheels from one of them and put it here so that will be a separate video but there's one other thing that I would like to do I want to build an extra one of these a train with just one wagon looks you know incomplete two is good three four would have been better but I think we need at least two so the fifth modification I'm going to do, but that's not the station, that's more of the train. So I think what I should do is I should make a separate uh, heading here, train, and the first one will be to motorize it, and the second would be an extra wagon. So something like that. So that's going to be things that I'm going to do. So I'm going to order the parts from Lego Bricks and Pieces. And when that part comes, I can continue with the modifications. I do have some more ideas, but that I cannot say it right now because I don't know how it will shape up once I start modifying this. So for example, I see this. Let me move the camera a little bit to this side. This is the weak point. So whenever I try to grab this, this is where it breaks off or this. 
So I am thinking I'm going to take this whole thing away, make it a modular connection via a Technic pin. So when I raise the height, I have to build this section up in a modular way. Put a Technic pin so that I can just disconnect it like that and move each platform by itself. Good. So that goes under the station. Number five, make it modular there now these platform signs obviously the platform is here there's nothing here let me move back so you know what i'm talking about this is where the entrance from the city will be remember so now we are facing the right way there so the entrance from the city will be here and then you'll buy your there will be some shops for pizza there will be some convenience store so you get in you are here you get the hogwarts express you don't like it you cross over that's your city line which is this one and then a fence there now i'm thinking that the crossing should be i just don't like only this crossing itself what if you are handicapped physically? What if, if you have lots of luggage? This only makes sense when there's a train here. So when there's no train here, there should be a crossing point here, a walkway sort of across the tracks. So that is going to be number six. This will be a platform level crossing. And obviously that will need barriers, special signs. Yeah, and we'll need, you know, like there are detailing we'll need on the platform. We'll need lights. We'll need, um, we'll need these things, the city maps. And we'll need ticketing booths. So all of those things we'll need. And this platform number nine. So I think we can leave this as nine. That way, this is nine quarters, nine and three quarters. Platform 10 will go that way. So this sign moves over there. So we have, sorry for knocking the camera, but we have number seven, which is platform signs. So number 10, oops, uh, my handwriting has gotten progressively bad. But number 10 will be over there. So I think that's where we can stop it for now. I'm sure more ideas will come as soon as I stop recording. But I will note it down. And when the bricks and pieces gets delivered, then I'll continue this video and show you the modifications. So this is Mezba. Take care. Bye-bye.